Wemby could presumably change the game of basketball forever. At nearly 8 feet tall, this man towers over the tallest of NBA giants, yet moves like and has the abilities of a shooting guard. Defensively, take in the IQ, rangy ground coverage, and versatility when he neutralizes the pick and roll with backside help, recovers to force a drive with his lead foot, shuffles back to cut off the jumper, then sprints back to swat the shot. While many are enthralled with what they've gotten to witness over a mere couple of exhibitions, others though are concerned about his health status given the injuries to failed lottery picks of the past who share his build. With a wiry, early years Kevin Durant-esque body type, plus considering he may not be done growing for another six years given he's 19, it's been tough for Victor to put on visibly big muscle. However, Victor makes up for what he lacks in muscle with a quite frankly terrifying for a player that's 7 foot 5 with an 8 foot wingspan, 32 inch vertical jump, and he's also got a ridiculous 10 foot standing reach. Right before you see a prediction of whether or not he'll stay healthy, plus a film breakdown of how he's looked in 2 out of 4 San Antonio exhibitions, only 15.7% of you watching right now are subscribed, so subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't. Regarding whether or not I think Wemby can stay healthy, it helps that he regularly does strengthening exercises focused on his big toes, since foot problems usually mess with ultra big men. I mean, just think of players around Wemby's size throughout history and Yao Ming, Zadrunas Ilgauskas, Bill Walton, and even in the modern age, with guys like Chris Stapps Porzingis and Joel Embiid, all of them have dealt with career-altering foot injuries, and especially considering Wembenyama suffered a stress fracture in his fibula back in December of 2020, the Frenchman having a specific routine to counter foot injuries bodes well. There's obviously no guarantee that he won't be injury-prone, but operating under the assumption that he stays healthy, San Antonio could very well have their next all-time great big man. First there was David Robinson, then there was Tim Duncan, and now the script has found a plotline for Victor Wembanyama. Not only does Vic face the pressure of being the next face of the Spurs franchise, but he's the most hyped up prospect since LeBron James. As we jump into the film on his early work, here's an electric two-way sequence where his stunt and recover forces the errant kickout, and after Sohan bounces it to him on the fast break, his gather step begins just inside the three-point line, and then he euro steps through two defenders just beyond the paint. Coach Pop said afterwards that he ran just one play for him the entire game, and that's ridiculous considering Vic finished with 10 field goals, 20 points, and 4 dimes. But this was that one play they drew up for him, as despite the narrative about his lack of muscle, all it takes to knock down his defender on this fake pin down action is one jog to the corner. A good setup by Vassell after a slip to the hoop gets Vic the easy finish, and watch the heads up awareness to then try for the steal off the inbounds. Even as he's reading this entry, Wemby just stays in place and simply follows the pass's trajectory with his vision, knowing his reach alone keeps him in position. But even as the ball is touched past elusively to the baseline, Wemby shows the composure to stay down and the hustle to make a second rotation for an absolutely uncanny swat. That type of awareness and reactivity is going to make Victor a perennial DPOY contender. Watch the impulsive off-ball movement to swing it and immediately cut back door. Then the prime Dwight Howard-esque bunnies to catch a lob around several feet behind the restricted area and send it home. Only unlike the 6'10 Dwight, the 7'5 Wemby doesn't have to throw it in, he can hang on the rim. Wembenyama has been playing professionally since 2019-20 and has competed in several different leagues since turning pro vamping his understanding of how to both read opposing defenses and defend the right way. Here he shows you that he's comfortable with breaking down defensive setups at the pro level, fluidly transitioning into the momentum cross to utilize the screen, then whipping out an in and out cross tween momentum to shake the drop coverage and sidestepping for the leaner. Most viral moment of the night was produced by merely roaming in the dunker spot. Great job by Vassell to draw multiple bodies and drop it off. Then Vic goes full Superman mode, and I may have lied to you when I said he doesn't have to throw it in, but based off Thomas Bryant's trending reaction, he's never been dunked on like that before. Mentioned he dropped four dimes, here's one of them Jokic style from the post, as another fake off-ball and slip action by Popovich sees Wemby find Sohan for a contested finish at the hoop. Despite getting caught ball watching as we shift back to the defensive side, watch how one and a half steps and an arm extension gets him from the right hash marks all the way to the Spurs logo on the left baseline. Stunning Highsmith, who gets his shot obliterated. Stay tuned for his best defensive play in a minute, but after only his first few performances, some are saying that Wemby is a top 20 player. That may be a bit of a stretch, but Wemby's wingspan is also just that, a stretch. 
Combining that with his preparation, speed, long strides, reactivity, not to mention shiftily evasive guard skills off the bounce, and when Benyama's got a chance to reverse the fortunes of the Spurs organization right off the bat. If you're unaware, since 1999, San Antonio's won five NBA championships, all under current and all-time great coach Greg Popovich. All Pop needed to feel revitalized again was a player with limitless upside and poised mental toughness like Victor, going above and beyond those typical future superstar abilities, proving Wemby has GOAT potential, are freaky momentum-shifting plays like this, where he puts his ability to do the splits to good use, lunging out from just inside the three-point arc to make up ground to the foul line, allowing him to knock the ball loose, just pure insanity. Not done there, though, he leaks out in transition for the outlet, forcing Chet Holmgren to make a business decision. Chet's guarding him in the half-court right here, and watch the hezzy left tween momentum right from Vic. Holmgren recovers perfectly, but again, it's the underrated strength coming into play, as Wembenyama just goes right through him for the N1. Next, Wemby welcomes 2023 ROI contender Jalen Williams to Narnia, sticking with his curry slide and tracking down the left-handed finger roll. Another active, multi-rotation defensive stance sees Victor neutralize the baseline attack, then take half a step from the restricted area to the foul line, blitzing the middle, resulting in a knockaway behind the back push ahead and should have been assist. Executing the sideline out of bounds action, the swift shuffling lower body movement on the perimeter, contested shooting ability and 12 foot plus release point is legit unstoppable. Watch the polished escape moves to first up fake and drive into his jab step, three quarter entry, spin into the lane to his offhand, and up and under scoop around the rim protection of Chet. That's just definitively scary. You've seen the defense, you've seen the offense, but the rebounding aspect, you can't gloss over. Here, his 8-foot wingspan allows him to snatch the board easily, despite four defenders being in the vicinity and he puts it back. He only posted four boards per night over the Alamo's first two exhibitions, but that's an aspect to his bag, which makes this man even more deadly, if he can stay healthy. Overall, despite getting dunked on by Kai Jones, Wemby's young career is off to a good start. Let me know the scariest part of Wemby's game in your opinion for a chance at NextVid shoutout and to compete in Community Speaks. Amazingly, no one answered my last question about Noah Lyles, so we'll skip the shoutout for today. But leave your take on today's question. This has been your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.